Max. Prove yourself. The Snake King. You better be careful. Has purification. It's only level one again. MSS. This might be first blood, and indeed it is. It will go to Zai on the clockwork. Much needed kill for them is MSS. Going to get bounced off the cogs. There's the telekinesis. This is a huge, huge start for Optic. Although Dragon Knight, Knight he's actually doing better than I thought he would. Uh, using the creeps as cover so the rocket barrage doesn't. Well, as I say. <laughs> All right. Well, 33. Well, I, 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 I'm not incorrect. He's doing better than expected still, even with that death. The damage than Zai, even though the rocket... Oh, Battery Salt actually is activated. He is level 2. MSS. Looks like he's going to die one way or the other, but he wants to get a kill with it. Pops the wand. Won't be enough. To... Oh, actually, Pycat getting extremely low now, but... Will well, heal and Pycat... And come... Amazing lane support and Gyro weaker early on, but now that he's had this perfect start, they can look to do other things Oops. in other lanes. Making actually goes down top lane. Yep, I'm not sure... Gank was midway through. Uh, if he had already had six, he would have had the mini stun from Assassin in order to cancel that TP. All right, the Cogs. Nice telekinesis on the other side. MSS does take the bounty rune. He'll be happy with that. Although he will die on top of it. Maybe not. You're telling me Rezo does different builds than what I expect, and I I've never seen him play Sniper, actually. I mean, I've seen it for sure, but I don't, like, recall. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen him. I mean, usually the Sniper was mid. as bottom lane. Gyrocopter. And company able to take out 33. There will be a glimpse away as Luna back into the fray of things. The SVG it will be caught inside the cogs. Pycat is here as well. Has the Lucent Beam if needed. And he'll use that to secure another kill for himself. So 4-0-2. Then that makes Luna pretty good at being able to do this in a game like this. So I'm really glad that Pycat recognizes that. And he's able to, to capitalize on even diving bottom. Yep. SVG looks to be dead. Uh, will be a trade off. across the map, though, as Rubik all the, having to walk game. back to base. And he's gonna try for it again. On. SVG has glimpse if needed. Maybe he uses it, but definitely didn't need it. Snake King gets a kill for himself. Just going himself. pop on him, and then he's dead. Yeah, homie missile will ensure that there's no way he can get out of this. In fact, darkness has popped just in case. Uh, it's gonna be nighttime in 10 seconds anyway, so... Ah, uh, yes. I miss the days of extending night personally, but oh yeah, yeah, I, that was I think fun. it was. I think it made it. It made it really weird the time in the mid lane. Yep, CCC's dead. Oh, oh counter initiation though from Zai onto SVG he gets purified pretty much right off the bat. Here comes the eclipse though from Pycat on the sideline. We'll be able to finish off SVG at the very least. Snake King attempting to get out homing missile on its way. It's a three for one overall. As MSS is just completely diving, his PPD, oh, he almost dies, but there's a Dragon Tail from 33 saving his life, but they end up taking out the Luna anyway. You may be seeing a rapier this game, is what I'm going to say right now. Because <laughs> when you well, CCNC is dead again. Oh, he is super dead again. Can't even get the assassinate on. I can't even, fuck, I can't even do it. BKB. Being <laughs> 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 initiated on. He's going to take the Void to the face. Homie Missile is there, but they really want the PPD kill, apparently. They're trying to divide and conquer. As they will find both in all likelihood, PPD. Maybe gain really a little bit damage for that fade bolt, but is Hurricane Pike as well. So, about 250 gold I away. Here comes the Eclipse on resolution. Gets a repel. They're not going to be able to finish him off as a result. And Snake King gets off the GA as well. And now Pycat's taking the brunt of the damage. Has his BKB still activated, so we'll live through this for now. But there comes the Rocket Barrage and ridiculous damage from Yawar. It's going to be three dead in very quick succession. Glimpse. Onto the DK. Looks like he is next on the list. And Vici J Storm look really good. Damn. MSS. Looks like he's going to get away scot free. Well, there's the hook shot, though, onto Gyrocopter. Remember, that's the Aegis. He gets off his ult. Looks like Zai is taking a huge amount of damage. He's going to be able to finish him off pretty easily. This fight's a little bit segregated as Pycat pops the shrine. You are trying to take him out, but there's the Eclipse. It's going to be a solo one, meaning it does, does a ton of damage. Won't be enough to actually kill Yawar yet. We're going to watch this fight. It's 3-3. Attempts to get away. Shrapnel is there to slow him down. Looks like he'll be taken out eventually. That's the Aegis. Pycat will die shortly after, though. So not a good trade at all for Optic. Um, it's just overall, it's a thousand gold cheaper, and the utility from it's just better. But uh, against, all the, against the silence of Night Stalker, and, uh, I feel like it's not even worth the Manta. And I also feel like the SNY might not be worth it either. And he, so the Spirit Vessel weakening the cores of Optic. They are smoked yep. up on BGJ. They find Peter. PPD's dead. Gets off a shrapnel just before to get pushed out. Zai 
He's going to get glimpsed into a static storm kinetic field combo. And with Yawar here, it's going to be an easy pickup. But again, this, this Roche, which may happen here. I wouldn't call this crucial, though. It is PPD. TI winner. <laughs> that is true. Down. Or will he just go for it? He's going for it. Here he comes. Here comes the cogs. And he's just going to get absolutely destroyed. The repel helping him so much. 3-3 three, three jumps in, but Resolution does get the Aegis, and that's going to be another feed for Optic. A good attempt. Oh, great play. still very good for them. They took a tier 3 and a, and a Ranger X. Yeah, Resolution looking for CC and C. And, and yeah, and oh, this series. Courier gets yeah. on his TP, so he couldn't even come back if he wanted. So they're going to give up this Rax easily. No doubt about it. In fact, they're going to get some kills. That's a buyback onto the Rubik. Take out these racks. Call down's not going to connect on anybody. And Pycats still continue on these tier fours. Do they really want to go for this trade? They get the full racks mid. You are. Remember, he still has cheese available. Here's the hook shot. See if they can cancel any TPs. Pycat gets one tier four. A TP coming back as well. Did they actually cancel a TP at all? Pycat. Oh he He's going for it. Snaking. He's getting destroyed. That's the second tier four down. And Ancient is at half HP. Pycat pops the oh BKB and the Eclipse. The He's going to kill MSS as Rubik well. Another TP coming in. That buybacks galore. Pycat really going for this. Fortifications finally pop. He will die, but damage has been done. Buybacks galore. Oh, Pycat pops the BKB. Oh, wow. That was any... Oh, Resolution oh. might be in some trouble, though. That's the Aegis. Still pretty big to take that out. Pycat will be taken out. Yeah, he has uh, the talent that makes it yes. sad. And they have shrapnel on Rubik, or assassinate, I mean. Yeah, Repel on to Yawar. Here comes the jump in 33. The static storm onto Zai. Looks like he's going to be taken out first. So much damage coming out from the gyrocopter. Pycat popped the Eclipse. Didn't really do a whole lot. It's 33 is going to be cleaned up next. PPD next as well. And the, the buybacks damage. are incoming. The damage from Luna is pretty substantial, but he gets stunned. Yawar focusing on him. There's the GA. That is the Aghanim Scepter, I do believe. Actually, no, that wasn't the Agnum 7. It's just freaking everybody. Rampage for resolution.